roof of the mosques are a great place for devoted Muslims to have sexual relationship with someone who is not their husband. Of course, alongside of roof of the mosque, they need prayer mat. Apparently, in Pakistan, at age 17, that's what people do. If they want to have sexual relationship with someone who is not their husband, where do they go to? They go to mosques. And then they go to roof of the mosque with a prayer mat to have sex. Let's listen. This one, very devoted, lovely Muslim who just shares her experiences with us. Very brave woman. I lost my virginity in Pakistan. And I was 17 at the time. But in Pakistan, it's actually illegal to have sex before marriage. I can't remember the sentence. I don't know if it's life or if it's death. You took risks. I did, yeah. For, for the It was really mediocre as well. But anyway, um, <laughs> it was not worth the I'm risk. Really honest, <laughs> we couldn't have sex like a normal risky place because we'd get caught and arrested. So I thought, where's the one place where people wouldn't look? And it was a mosque. You saw sex in a mosque? On the roof of a mosque. My university had a mosque and we'd just go inside the mosque and we'd segregate because the men and women can't be together in a mosque. So we'd go our separate ways, but then make our way to the roof. The roof was really rubbly. So I put down a prayer mat on the roof of the mosque, suck him off. Assuming people are aware of your profession and what you do. Yeah, but Pakistan isn't as conservative as people think it is. Like I used to go to raves and parties in Pakistan. I was probably more of a in Pakistan than I am here. I need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so what do Muslims do in devoted Muslim countries like Pakistan? Well, devoted Muslims turn up to mosque, not to worship, but to go to the roof of the mosque so that they can have sex with a man on the prayer mat. So mosque, those of you who don't know what is mosque, mosque is the place where Muslims go for worship. Yep. They go for worship. And what is prayer mat? Oh, that's the kind of small rock where Muslims stand on it as they do their prayer. When they go down the sajda, so that's like where they put their forehead in that rug. Yes. I love how creative these Muslims are. Because no one would assume and would find them out that they are having sex in a roof of the mosque on the prayer mat. Well, apparently it is risky if you have sex on the hotel or whatever, in your house or somewhere. Therefore, mosque is safest place. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. She's very brave woman. She's very brave woman. Of course, you might be saying, oh, maybe she was having sex with one of her muta husbands or one of her missyar husbands. I don't know what kind of husband or not husband he was, but they were using the place of worship as a devoted Muslims to have sex on a prayer mat. I really don't understand what is it with Muslims that they are so proud of their sin. They are so proud of their unrepentant sin and they brag about it. Oh, I remember their God is simply Allah, simply fall in love with sin. Allah loves his people to commit sin. And well, this is just a sexual sin in a mosque, sorry, roof of the mosque, probably doesn't even count as the property of the mosque. You can find ways to justify it. And just a prayer mat, Allah, we don't even care about it. Why? Allah is just honored because you committed sin. Allah loves you to commit sin. Seriously. What is it with Muslims that they commit sin and they publicly brag about it? Very disturbing. In Pakistan, while devoted Muslims are having sex on the rooftop of the mosque, on the prayer mat, non-Muslims are accused under the blaspheme law, tortured, murdered, or put in prison, even burned alive, simply because they dishonor Muhammad or the Quran. Someone accused them to so. It is so devoted Muslims. They are just so devoted Muslims. They cannot dishonor Muhammad or the Quran. But, of course, who cares about this brave man and woman to go have go and have sex on the roof of the mosque. Just love it.
Allah just love the sin. Sin is something very serious. Sin deserves punishment. Sin is so serious, separated men and women from God. Sin is so serious, eternal son of the father stepped into the world to take the punishment of sin on himself by laying his life down on the cross for the sake of us. Sin is serious, but devoted Muslims from Pakistan just simply brags about their sin. Why? Because their God just love the sin. Well, thank you very much, Miss Muslim, for telling us what you do and what Muslims do in the top of the mosques.